it's a little it's a little cold outside but it's gonna get colder so today in this video I'm gonna be putting some cards in the freezer so I've got these three cards here it's three decks I've got blue and red circle back tally ho cards and I've got these uh, blue aviators in this card caddy thing because I don't have a box for it. So the reason why I'm sticking these cards in the fridge is because I have heard that it has, it can make like the cool temperatures can help the fibers of the cards like bond it together and like help get some of the humidity out as long as you don't already have like a pitcher of water already in the fridge or the freezer but it can like just get them back into an original structure because cooler temperatures much better for the cards than hot warm wet temperatures now the kind of decks that you want to stick in the fridge need to be some that you have already used like out in the humidity now i've done this before with the three decks i've already showed but i've also done it with some other decks like this black deck right here and so the thing is is that you want to probably do it with a deck that is already kind of ruined or have snow damage but not too much so like these red ones right here i used out in the snow they've got some snow damage on them and these here are full of a lot of humidity and also those decks i don't really care too much about them because they're just standard however what you don't want to do is you want don't want to use like a fancy or newer deck so like these black ones here I stuck them in the uh, freezer. No, I stuck them in the fridge in this card caddy thing. And as you can see, the card caddy has some holes. So like a little bit too much could have gotten into the cards because they're kind of a little, it might just be with used to, but they're a little more clumpy clumpier than how they uh, used to be and so I just dropped some cards everywhere but they don't handle as well as they used to be that might just be with old age but or it might be because I stuck them in the fridge so uh, make sure that the cards you do stick in the freezer or the fridge that they have like already damaged. So just be careful about like which decks you put into the fridge or the freezer. But anyway, I'm gonna go on ahead and stick these three decks into the, the freezer. Then we can check back tomorrow. the next day. So I just got the cards out of the fridge or the freezer. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to open the red circle back cards to see how they handle. Still pretty frozen or cold. And then later I'm gonna open the other decks to see how they handle after being in the freezer and then thawing out to room temperature. So let's get right into it. All right, let's go ahead and open these up. So depending on how cold and how long you wait after you take them out, the cards are obviously gonna be pretty cold and um, Sometimes they fan good, 
but like doing things like one hand cuts, they can be really cold in the hands. Uh, these cards currently are not too awfully cold. I didn't set them too close to like the middle of the deck, I mean the middle of the freezer. I stuck them kind of in like a door, so it might not have been as much contact with the uh, source of the freezer. But they feel better than they did before. And I like the feeling of these cold cards because it's different than the normal just room temperature standard. But usually uh, I find it better to open them after they thaw out a little bit because sometimes they don't always fan this good and sometimes they start to clump up which is good for packet cutting but if you want a fan they don't usually fan this good but it might also just be that this deck specifically doesn't have as much like humidity in it but yeah a little bit later I'll get the other cards five minutes later Okay, I'm kind of cheating right now, but I just opened up these blue ones because they feel way different. They feel a little bit more like they got some humidity in them or out of them or something, but they feel a little bit colder than the red ones. And this isn't them thawed out yet, but there's definitely a difference. It might just be that the other deck was a little bit more, yeah, just already kind of ruined. These are a little bit in better shape. They feel just a little bit more clumpy and just a little bit more humidity. But now I'm going to let them thaw out. 20 minutes later. Now both decks are more at room temperature. This deck right here feels much better at room temperature than just straight out of the fridge or the freezer. Then to the aviators. These were in a different container that's plastic and has a hole so they're still a little more cold than the other ones. But they still feel better than they did by a little bit whenever before they went into the freezer. They're a little bit better. And that's pretty much it. Now, I'm about to go over some possible risks that might come if you stick your cards in the fridge or the freezer. So I'm gonna start off with the freezer first. Um, a tip would be to put them in there during the nighttime and then get them in the morning. Cause you don't want them in there for too long cause it might be a little bit too cold. We're moving on to the fridge. So make sure that the humidity in there is not too high where there's not like a pitcher of water or anything because a big point of sticking them in the fridge or the freezer is to get some humidity out. But if there's a pitcher of water, then the humidity is obviously going to be higher. Also, I wouldn't stick them for too long in the fridge either, but it's not going to be as bad as you stick them in there as much as it would be if you stuck them for too long in a freezer. However, I did stick my black cards that I show, showed you earlier in there for only like 15 to 20 minutes and they might have become clumpy because of that. Also, but there was like a hole in the box that I stuck them in. So also make sure the cards that you stick in there are not some super fancy cards. They should probably be just some standard ones. But those are some risks. Thank you so much for watching this pretty random video, but it still should be at least a little bit helpful since some people do have to store their cards in the fridge or the freezer because the hot temperatures and wet stuff 
not very good for your cards sometimes. And uh, I hope this video was helpful. And if you liked it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. And I'll see you next time.